One man had a flock of sheep, the other one just had one little bitty ewe lamb that was so precious, she was so tender. She would come and lay her head in his lap. She would come and she would eat all of his food. She didn't even got talk to this. She found a drink out of a cup. I got two dogs and I ain't told me one of them had a drink out of a cup. How do you teach a sheep how to drink? like a person. I don't know, but this little sheep could do it. Yeah. And when there came a visitor through town to visit the rich man, Nathan begins to tell his story and David is listening intently. And he says that when his traveler needed something to eat, instead of going to his own flock where there were plenty of sheep and plenty of ewes and plenty of rams, he goes instead to the poor man that had the little bitty ewe lamb that was like a daughter to him. Nobody understood what David was going to do. Nobody understood his, his 
his reaction and his response. The people around him, the people closest to him, the people in the palace did not understand the propensity of his pain. Just like you got some folk that are close to you. You got some folk that love you and that care about you, but they don't understand the pain that you're going through. And it was a misunderstood David. They was whispering about it. David, all down on the ground, all down on the floor, wouldn't get back up. Just the king now down on the floor. The king lying prostrate. I get down there, but you have to help me get up, and then he have to help you get up. <laughs> somebody say, the king, somebody say, how many years? Change this 
clothes. He, he got up and washed himself. He shaved and then he said, all right, what's for dinner? So I said, what's wrong with it? We were trying to get it to because you don't understand how praise operates. Because when God deals with us in our sinful nature, and when we come to terms with ourselves being sinful, and we see the will of God being played out, see, sometimes I'm just ready for God to end my story. Sometimes I'm just waiting for God to end the chapter that I wrote and that I can't tie up. Sometimes I'm just waiting for God to fix up my mess up. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. And when God fixed David's situation, David said, I can deal with my pain now. He got up, yeah. Yeah. danced around because yeah, yeah. he had gone yeah. from pain uh. to praise. Uh, right. And when you really hurt yourself, when you've really been in the gutter, when you've really been down in the valley, and God lets you get out like he did David, when God lets you get, people may not understand your dance. People may not understand your song. People may not understand your new attitude. People will begin to whisper and say, what's the matter with them? What's the matter with them? They don't understand you on a journey from pain to praise. But you know God's got your praise. I said God's got your praise. Praise the Lord in himself. And then the Bible said that he went to the house of God. Quit staying away from the house of God. Thank you, yeah, yeah. 